Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your general reading for the month of April of 2022. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We're going to get into your energies for the month of April. Yeah, I'm going to start with the animal spirit guides. We're going to get your overall energy and general theme. And then we're going to dive into the golden universal, no, golden art nouveau tarot, excuse me, for your spread. Yeah, let's get into this, guys. Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Torrens, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please make me a clear and accurate channel for the messages, the energies, the guidance that you have for Taurus at this time for the month of April of 2022. Excellent, guys. All right, let's get into it. Taurus, first thing I'm seeing for you is pink. Central heart chakra. Let's give this five shuffles. Um, but to be honest with you, Taurus, there's a, there's a strong loving energy that's coming through here. Now, this is a general reading, right? So we could be talking about anything. Um, but I... <laughs> this is three... But I kind of feel like this might be a bit of a love reading for you. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't have to do with anyone else, it, then it just involves yourself. This is four. I just feel like, Taurus, I feel like you're getting into a vibe where, um, this is five. You may be loving yourself more. Some of you are actually opening up to romance um, if you've been single for a while. I do feel like for a number of you, there is an energy of you've been very closed off to love and really, <laughs> really not wanting anything to do with it. Um, and if you are opening up to it, it feels like some of you are only opening up to it in terms of loving yourself more. Um, I do feel like you've come out of a very dark period where you were, um, you were maybe dealing with a dark night of the soul type of energy, healing from a lot of trauma. You may be actually on the verge of coming out of a uh, hermit energy a hermit mode so for some of you you're entering back into the realm of love and yes you will be opening up to a partner or an external partners at some point in the near future but right now this is really about loving yourself uh, nurturing yourself um i definitely feel like there's an energy here for some of you guys of coming out of a really dark period and now as you're coming out of that you're starting to recognize ways to better take care of yourself. Um, you're opening up to a lot of that. You're opening up to change in terms of that. For others of you, you're a little further along um, and you're actually opening up to ro love and romance with another person. Um, I heard something about seeing that clearly. Maybe understanding what it is you dealt with in the past, seeing those past situations very, uh, very much clearer and now moving forward to being opening up, uh, being open enough to start embracing another person in your life. Ooh. All right, Taurus, let's get into this. So what's going on for you this month? For my Taurus for the month of April. We do have elephant here. It did come out in reverse though. What I'm getting with that Taurus is there's an, an energy of introspection. I do want to leave it upright. Um, the elephant is, is giving me an energy of kind of a hermit energy. And with it coming, having come out in reverse, I feel like, again, that's the energy of you. Wow. Okay. And then we have camel. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Funny story. Camel has been coming out a lot for the collective lately. Okay. And then you do have B at the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to take that as well. All right. Um, so the elephant energy is giving me what is giving me a uh, hermit vibes. Okay, so there's that energy of many of you coming out of some sort of hermit mode. Let's leave it reversed because that is how it came out. B also was reversed at the bottom of the deck, but I'm actually taking that one upright because it feels right. Um, I, with the, the elephant energy, Taurus, uh, elephants also represent wisdom, divine wisdom I'm hearing. So there was a very strong introspective period that you went through, very much a hermit energy that I do feel like you're, you're coming out of. You are emerging from with the elephant in reverse. Now with camel, there's a uh, camel has been, like I said, it's been coming out for like, it came out for like two of the other signs so far. 
Um, but Camel is representing, at least for the collective at this moment, Camel is representing sustenance, uh, endurance, being able to weather the storm. I definitely feel like you're coming, you're emerging out of some sort of hermit mode or hermit period, much stronger, much more stable, much more resilient and ready to take on whatever it is is next for you. And then you have the B, which is a very hardworking energy. Um, I do feel like you're, you're emerging out of this um, uh, hermit mode or this hermit period, feeling refreshed, feeling revived, ready to experience, ready to explore. I'm definitely getting a fun energy from the bee. You know, the bee is a very hardworking uh, creature. It's all about, you know, but but uh, doing the work and teamwork and camaraderie and community and all that. But also the, the message of B or the lesson of B is to be able to stop and smell the flowers. So enjoy yourselves every once in a while um, while still doing the hard work that it is you need to do, but also balancing that with enjoying yourself, having a good time, taking time off, taking time to recuperate, taking time to, you know, stop and smell the flowers. So this is a really beautiful energy for you, Taurus. You're coming out very resilient, very strong, probably having a lot of your reserves recuperated. If you've been depleted for a long time, that may have been a big, a big reason as to why you went into this hermit mode because you just needed to rest. But during that hermit mode, Taurus, you learned a lot. You've, you've been able to gain a lot of wisdom, incorporate a lot of wisdom. You may have even gotten a lot of downloads during that time, which have, which may have made you even more tired. Okay. I do feel like there is an energy of going through some sort of upgrade for you guys. Uh, and then now you're emerging out of that with a stronger level of energetic reserves under your belt, a stronger level of resilience. You may have learned a lot about how resilient you actually are, Taurus. And that is kind of in encouraging you to move forward. This is very similar to the Cancerian energy. If you have cancer in your chart, I might, I recommend maybe you watching that video, but um, it's similar to the, in the sense that cancer realized or started to learn that they can really do anything. And now that's helping motivate them, push them forward. For you, Taurus, this is more, yeah, it's a sim, it's, it's similar to that. Um, but I feel like you've learned a lot. You've gained a lot more wisdom and understanding. And that's kind of taking a lot of the weight off of your shoulders. Um, there could even be a level of gaining a, a stronger level of faith within the universe um, to help you push along. Um, some of you are not so afraid of the unknown anymore. And the bee is really representing that energy for you of being able to wistfully just bounce around from place to place to place fully understanding that you will be sustained, you will be taken care of as long as you stay in the right, in the proper alignment. And then that also takes us back to camel, the camel energy where, um, you know, you're resilient, you have enough reserves, you have enough of an understanding, you, you, you have enough of an experience under your belt to really move forward and take a, a, an, a journey to, you know, in the, in, a, in an unknown sense. And camels do, um, they store a lot of their nutrients and like a water in their in their humps. So they're able to move, to take long journeys with extended period of time without having to find another place to, you know, recuperate or anything like that. So I'll, this is really good energy for you, Taurus. I really like this. Um, I just feel like you're emerging very strong, very resilient with a lot of wisdom under your belt. Yeah. Excellent. So let's get into the rest of your reading here. I'm going to give this five shuffles. One. Uh, and you might hear some of my friends outside uh, in the background. This is two. Uh, we're kind of having a blackout party <laughs> because the whole island of Puerto Rico lost power. This is three. So some of my friends are up here doing their work and using the power and all that stuff. So you might hear them in the background. <laughs> this is four. For Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and north node. And here, this is five. All right, Taurus. Let's get into this. I'm going to cut the deck for you. Boop. All right. Overall energy. Oof. Okay, you're starting out with the five of swords. That's really interesting. Uh, but what I'm getting with this, Taurus, is that you've learned where to stop fighting, where it's, where, where it's unnecessary. Okay. Um, a strong level of resiliency has come through here in terms of some of you have been fighting for things in the past that were a lose, lose battle. And I feel like you recognize where you can drop the battles and move forward. Okay. Under, yep. Underneath the five of swords is the king of pentacles, which does represent you Taurus. Then we have the six of cups under that. And then underneath that you do have the three of cups. Now, 
Big thing that I'm getting for you so far in this overall energy, Taurus, is that since many of you have learned to stop fighting yourself, okay? Um, mm, wow, that's interesting. Uh, the Five of Swords is that energy of the past. We do have the Six of Cups here, so that makes sense. Um, what I feel like here is you've dealt with a lot of the um, negative situations from the past, a lot of... Uh, fighting again fighting yourself and maybe fighting for things that were not in alignment with you okay but with this elephant energy in reverse that's also showed up for you here this is where a lot of the wisdom has come in for you and you've been able to again uh, we'll, we'll see if the hermit comes out but I feel like there was a strong hermit period for you in which you really got centered within yourself and you got grounded and you recognize where there were some past circumstances, past energies that you were struggling with, either fighting for or fighting to still um, hold on to, or maybe there was some sort of resentment or something that you were holding on to. But ultimately, I feel like you've transformed out of that, or no, what I heard is you've released a lot of that for yourself. You've gotten really grounded, stable, and secure in who you are as in relation to the past and who you were in the past or what it was you were dealing with in the past. And now you've been able to release that and and be more solid in yourself, which is great. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck, that definitely feels like a, a celebration energy for you uh, between you and the universe because you finally let some of these things go. And that's really excellent, really beautiful. I do want to turn this up right now. <laughs> I'm tired of looking at this elephant in reverse. Okay. Excellent. Let's get into the rest of the reading here. So the first half of your reading is going to look at the past energies up until the current moment. Yeah? First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. You have the Page of Wands. Excellent. Page of Wands is coupled with the Nine of Wands. Yeah. So again, resiliency here. Um, you pro you really struggled for this. I feel like you. Uh, there may have been a conscious energy, Taurus, of you wanting to change your paradigm, you wanting to change your situation. So whatever hermit or or um, closed off energy or whatever time it is you took to heal. I feel like there was a conscious effort to do that. I feel like you were tired of fighting the same old, same old, and you wanted to get uh, in alignment with something new here, okay? So uh, with the Page of Wands and the Nine of Wands, I feel like there's a strong energy here of you having really pushed for, persevered towards um, consciously changing your alignment, changing your situation. For some of you, there was a direct recognition of specific individuals around you that were doing nothing but keeping you down, that you really wanted to release yourself from. Um, if, and, if, and if it's not specific individuals, then it's just an energetic circumstance, maybe a relationship, a job even. It could have been anything like that. But I feel like you consciously really pulled yourself through this change in alignment here because you recognized it was what was best for you. And that's excellent. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. You do have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the sun. There was a recognition for you, Taurus, of where there was lacking in reciprocity. Some of you actually got like there was a light bulb moment where it was like, oh, wait, either I'm not going to get what it is I need from this situation or you recognize that you needed to allow yourself to move in a direction towards greater reciprocity within just maybe even just your friend circle again this could be friends this could be jobs this, it could be really anything but but the strongest thing that i'm getting here for you taurus is a recognition of greater reciprocity in your life and that was another reason why it kind of pushed you into a sense of hermit mode or just uh, disconnecting from certain individuals or whatnot, whatever, so that uh, circumstances so that you could actually heal and be in a better place to uh, to receive this reciprocity. OK, this is another this six of pentacles with the sun is another element as to why I feel like you this 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 healing period that you went through was very consciously driven. OK, very consciously driven. Your challenge in terms of the past here, Taurus, is the moon. Oh, look at that. The moon. <laughs> and the moon is coupled with the four of pentacles. Okay. See, there was absolutely a conscious realization here. So your challenge was to... Well, first of all, the challenge was to overcome the illusions of the moon. And what the moon was hiding was the fact that you were holding on to certain things for dear life that absolutely were not serving you. The biggest challenge for you in the past in terms of this situation was just the realization of how you may have been um, deceiving yourself in terms of what it is you were holding on to or maybe even why you were holding on to this. That is a big one that's coming through here. It may not have necessarily been the fact that you needed to recognize that you were holding on to 
onto something that needed to be let go of. It may have been more of an energy of recognizing why you needed to let go of this because that because see Taurus here's the thing like you can you can even tell yourself or people can be telling you you need to do this you need to do that you need to do this you need to do that some of you are like fuck you I don't want to hear what you have to say I'm doing my own thing but others of you it's like okay but why you're telling me I need to do this but you're not really giving me a, a valid answer or a really good answer or a good excuse as to why this needs to happen so I'm not going to do anything well it kind of feels like that why came to you. And that's the moment that you recognized or you understood that you needed to release this. And so you had you worked on letting it go. That's really excellent. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome in terms of the first half of your reading here, Taurus. You have the lovers coupled with the magician. Yes. See, whatever change you consciously decided to make, it wasn't about... Um, needing to do it for the sake of needing to do it. It was about making uh, making the choice for yourself. So it turns out that for whatever reason this was, you had a good enough reason to make some sort of change and get into the driver's seat and really start manifesting something new. The lovers with the uh, magician. Now, for others of you, this actually does represent you making the choice to manifest some sort of romantic situation. I feel like you really have, uh, if this does resonate for you in terms of love, you really have decided to let go of the past circumstances, let go of the resentment. Five of swords, six of cups is your overall energy there. Okay, let go of some sort of resentment, let go of some something that was holding you back or some sort of belief system that was sabotaging you when it came to love and romance and, 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 and interpersonal relationships. Whatever happened for you in the past, whatever catalyst came through, whatever conscious awareness came through for you, you finally decided to let go of whatever was holding you back, let go of the fear, let go of the illusion, and you made a conscious choice to start manifesting, whether this is love or anything else for you here. Because the lovers doesn't necessarily just represent love. Ultimately, the lovers represents a choice, a choice of vice or virtue, right? And that vice would have been anything that would, from the past that you were holding on to that actually only turned out to be a five of swords energy it was a lose-lose situation you know you may have felt like you were the upper you had the upper hand let's say you were out there in the world and people were trying to date you and whatnot but you would always cut them down and you might have felt like you had the upper hand because haha i'm not gonna let you get one over me i'm not gonna let you play me i'm not gonna let you hurt me but at the same time you were kind of hurting yourself by cutting yourself off like that five five uh, a lose-lose energy five of swords type of situation Again, it doesn't have to be just love for you. Place it in your life as it fits. But ultimately, Taurus, you made the conscious decision to start manifesting. And I'm hearing to start manifesting on your own terms, which is really, really good. And for many of you, you found a legitimate reason to go in a certain direction rather than just certain people saying you should do this, you should do that, blah, 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 blah. You found your reason and thus you decided to move forward. That's excellent, Taurus. I love this for you. Let's get into the second half of your reading. So the second half is going to look at the current energies and off into the future. So what could be coming down the pipeline for you? But keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the second half of your reading. You do have the Five of Cups. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, five of Cups is coupled with the Ten of Cups. So, okay, so currently... Some of you may still be dealing with the release of whatever it is you've decided to let go of. But I really do feel like at this point, Taurus, there is a strong level of optimism here because really my attention, my focus is being brought to the two of cups that are still standing, not this three of cups here. So I feel like currently and then moving off into the future, you're starting, you know, the clouds are starting to part. A lot of the sorrow, a lot of the pain, um, you know, the woe is me or the crying over spilled milk or whatever, whatever, I feel like that's subsiding and you're starting to turn around and recognize what is still standing for you because obviously all is not lost here and you're starting to recognize a way towards that 10 of cups energy for you the ultimate wish fulfillment it's like the uh, on an emotional level the ultimate emotional fulfillment okay there i really feel like this represents a clearing away of everything that was holding you back any sort of sorrow that you were dealing with and now you're starting to see a path forward towards greater emotional fulfillment and that's beautiful Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the second half of your reading, the Knight of Cups. There you go. This is actually, there's the, the pink energy that I was seeing for you. 
So when I see pink, that takes me into the inner heart chakra, right? Because the heart chakra is green, but there is a central part of the heart chakra, which is like your heart center. That's where the uh, unconditional love comes from. That is where the love of self comes from. Um, and I feel like that's really opening up for you. I feel like you're in a place right now, Taurus, where you can really allow yourself to let your heart lead the way. Many of you were really closed off to that energy in the past for whatever reason. But now here it is emerging because the clouds are parting, your tears are parting, you're starting to see a way forward. You're starting to recognize the path that your heart is leading you on. And I feel like you're in a much better energy to really start moving forward with that. That's really beautiful. The Knight of Cups is coupled with, there you go, the Eight of Cups, Taurus. <laughs> That's awesome. Because you're leaving the past behind. You're finally allowing yourself to release whatever it is that you've been holding on to or whatever it has been holding you back, okay? Now, I, I this Eight of Cups is here now, but I feel like, because we're talking about the current energies off into the future, I really feel like the Eight of Cups represents the element or the fact that you left certain things behind, okay, in the past energies, whatever you were going through up here. And so now you're able, you're able to move forward with your heart's desire or with a clearer, a clearer, a much clearer understanding of what your heart truly wants, or at least where it's leading you because of the fact that you've left some things behind in the past. And that's really freaking beautiful. Your challenge, Taurus, in this second half of your reading, you do have the nine of cups here. Interesting. Do you see this? 10, 8, 9. I like this. I like how this is coming through. The challenge here is to focus on happiness. Um, and, and it's interesting. I was doing a reading for someone a few days ago, and uh, I said that this Nine of Cups energy has been very important for the collective lately because we have, a lot of the time we're so focused on the wish fulfillment of the star, which is major arcana. Now, both, of, both the Nine of Cups and the star does represent wish fulfillment. But the, rep but the wish fulfillment that the star represents is like the big time stuff, the big lifetime goals, the things that we wish for that seem impossible, like all that big, big stuff, right? And it's not like that's bad to go for, but we often forget about the mundane. We often forget about the everyday contentment, just being happy as who you are or where you are with whatever it is you have, whoever it is you have around you, all that kind of stuff, right? So your challenge here, Taurus, in the, in, for now off into the near future, is cultivating this sense of everyday mundane happiness with this Nine of Cups energy, really focusing on what truly makes you happy in the smaller um, elements, in the smaller ways, you know, but because you do have this kind of change in identity that's happening here, Taurus. So it's almost like for many of you, your challenge is to relearn yourself and to figure out what makes you happy on an day to day level instead of focusing so much on the big picture goals. Yeah. Excellent. The Nine of Cups is coupled with the Seven of Cups. Yes. So for many of you, your sense of happiness has changed. Your alignment has changed personally with respect to who it is you are as an individual. You are in a much more solid place, Taurus, with that King of Pentacles that's at the overall energy at the top of the reading there for you. So for many of you, you're relearning yourself at this point. Seeing what it is that makes you happy now versus what it used to make you happy in the in the past. That's really beautiful. This is actually, for some of you, that seems daunting or feels da da daunting. But overall, Taurus, I feel like that feels really exciting for you. Okay, there are new possibilities and the possibilities are endless. That's really kind of awesome. But the challenge here for you right now is to relearn yourself and to figure out what makes you happy now instead of focusing on what used to make you happy in the past. And that's another element that's coming through here with this Five of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Whatever is washing away from you, you are starting to see the beauty in all of this. The clouds are starting to part and you're starting to see a way forward towards a greater sense of happiness and wish fulfillment and healing. Excellent. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Taurus. Woo! The tower. Oh, shit. Okay. But see, that makes sense though, Taurus, because you've emerged from this kind of like 
elephanty hermit type period, which is funny. We didn't get the hermit here. Maybe we'll get it in the last card, but you've grown much wiser or you've come to a greater sense of yourself. And so now is the time for the old things to really start falling away. I don't feel like this tower moment is sudden or is representing a sudden upheaval for you. For some of you, if there is anything sudden about this, it's most likely the people around you starting to notice how different you are or how much you've shifted or starting to recognize that you're making certain I guess what they would consider drastic changes for you, because I did hear that. But ultimately, this tower energy just feels like the old structures finally starting to fall away. For some of you, you are actually tearing this down, which is beautiful. The tower is coupled with the ace of wands. This is literally the old structures, the old belief systems, the old relationships, whatnot, whatever, being taken down to give you space to move forward with what it is you are act are activated in terms of or activated with right now. What are you are what are you inspired by at this point? And for many of you, those dreams that you're are, are, that you're activating or those dreams that whatever it is you're inspired to move forward towards, it's something very new for you. So that's also another reason why this tower is here because even though this doesn't feel so sudden for you because consciously I feel like you already know what it is you're going for, what it is you're striving for, or you're making a very conscious decision to move in this new direction, it's still a big change for you. And like I said, for many of you, it's the people around you that are going to really think this is way more sudden, but it's not for you. It's not for you because you're consciously doing it. You're consciously moving forward towards this and that's beautiful okay taurus there you have it so let's close this out for you i'm going to get your closing guidance from the oracle of the seven energies yeah all righty so i'm gonna give this five shuffles for you taurus one two three Closing Oracle Guidance for my Taurus, please, Spirit, four, and five. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Closing messages, please, Spirit, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Look at this! Card number 14, beautiful uncaging. That's perfect. Because that's <laughs> it's literally what we were talking about here. <clears throat> Uncaging yourself, uh, liberation, greater sense of freedom, okay, personal expression as well. Um, for many of you, this is a situation, Taurus, in which there are parts of yourself that you that are uh, that are being that are emerging here or that are being unearthed that you have never even explored because of a certain level of conditioning. This is gorgeous. Okay, here we go, Taurus. Let's read this for you. Key concepts here are the prison of guilt, a need for self-inventory, rigorous honesty, accountability, and making amends. At this time, you're being called to assess where guilt is playing a part in your life. Recognize how it's affecting you and others and address it so you can release yourself from its grip. Guilt is a powerful emotional state capable of transforming difficult situations. It keeps you accountable for your actions when you've done something that causes harm. However, it can also feed a self-sabotaging cycle that fosters codependency and a distorted sense of personal power. Self-blame can lead to behaviors that perpetuate low self-worth. Have you done or said something for which you need to make amends? Have you disregarded a boundary or broken a promise? Guilt can make you aware of potential ways you have given injury and show you how to redress the transgression. When you sincerely admit you were wrong and begin the process to fix it, this is an act of accountability, responsibility, and liberation. Take a moment now to consider when you have harmed others or yourself. This knowledge will free you from the story you you tell about it so you're able to connect with truthful remorse. Now is the time for vigorous honesty as you take a self inventory with a neutral state of mind. A good question to ask yourself now is why the guilt is there. You might be taking on a burden that is not even yours to carry. Torrens often do that. Yeah. 
Pay attention, take action, and uncage yourself from the prison of your own making. All right, Taurus, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you guys would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the description box below where you'll find a list of the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I would love to get you all hooked up. If you would like some extra content with me, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below where you will find somewhat daily readings, um, <laughs> as the energy permits. Also, if you are interested, there are certain tiers over on Patreon that will give you discounts for your personal readings, either 10 or 20%. There is also a, a tier that gives you one reading with me for the month. Uh, in incorporated into your subscription and you could be a member of that for as low as $3 a month. Yeah. So check it out. Patreon.com slash divine conversations. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. With that said, Taurus, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yes. Beauty bus. <laughs> Bye.